there's eternity. And um, and that's the thing. You see, people are confusing this word, you know, tachos, used by John as more of a speedometer, when they need to be looking at it more as a tachometer. Is, are we closer to the events? Uh, is it short in time period, or is it things going to ramp up or rev up as we get closer? The answer is the latter. Things are going to rev up as we get closer to the end. And that's why we've sort of titled this cost update, Things Are Revving Up. We're seeing that happen. Uh, by the way, if, if you're not into the, you know, that was, this one's for the guys and gals that like tachometers and old, you know, race cars and stuff like that. There's actually a more feminine example of the Lord gives us. Anybody remember what that is? Yeah, somebody said it. Childbirth. Childbirth. Um, in fact, remember what Jesus said? Both Jesus and Paul talked about this. In uh, Matthew 24, remember when the disciples asked Jesus when's the end of the world going to be, and he gave the, the, the two and a half pages of red letters? Uh, the longest dissertation Jesus ever gave was on the end, end time. But in that big sermon, uh, he said, you know, there's going to be wars and rumors of wars, and, and there's going to be earthquakes in diverse places and pestilence and... Uh, uh, you know, nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. In other words, ethnicity against ethnicity is a, a, the Greek word there. Um, but Jesus said in verse 8 of, of 24, he said, All these are the beginning of sorrows. And the word sorrow, if you take it out there, uh, from there, it, it, it's the word birth pain. Literally translate. Uh, like it, it should really read, All these are the beginning of labor pains or birth pains. And so if you have ever given birth to a baby, you know how that is. Uh, the contractions are in sort of a tachometer kind of way, ramping up. They get more intense and more frequent the closer you get to the coming of the baby. And so, um, so you know, Jesus talked about this. Not only um, Jesus, but Paul the Apostle. First, first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Again, as the end gets closer, things are going to continually spin up uh, around the world uh, to, the, to the point where Jesus returns. The rapture of the church, the tribulation period, the second coming of Christ, and then ultimately the millennial kingdom. <clears throat> so that's something to kind of note. Uh, things will ramp up. Now, what's interesting about the, you know, tachometer versus the speedometer is you don't really know the day or the hour when the Lord is going to do all these things. The rapture of the church, the second coming of Christ, we don't know that. But we do know the signs and the tea seasons, and we'll know that things will be ramping up. Well, but things seem to be ramping up, but then they, then they ebb and flow. Have you noticed that if you study your world history? You know, um, it, no wonder back in 19, you know, 17, they thought... They were living in Armageddon during World War I, and, and I probably would have thought that too, living d through that horrible, horrible part of history. I mean, World War I was horrific if you're on the battlefield. Um, but they were wrong. It wasn't Armageddon. They thought it was, but it wasn't. But it was ramping up. It was, it was like a birthday. It was uh, you know, coming on really strong, and then it stopped. And then World War II, another birthday, and then it stopped. And, and you know, who knows? See, that's the thing. Anybody that says if they're a Bible prophecy buff or teacher or whatever, be careful. If somebody's saying, absolutely, this is it, for sure, this is the rapture's coming, or this is for sure the God Megon war, or this is the end of the over here, be careful. Um, I'm so frustrated because 